Hungarian Folk Tales The Giant Beanstalk Once upon a time, many years ago, there was a poor woman, and she had a son and a little cow. They had no food at home, and so the mother told her son, Go, son, drive the cow to market, but be sure to get a good price for her. So the son took the cow to the market. He quickly found a buyer and exchanged the family cow for a single bean. The boy hurried home to show his mother what he had made at the market. The mother cried and cried when she learned that he had sold the cow for a single bean, but her son consoled her. Don't be sad, mother. The old man who bought the cow said that I should plant this bean today and wait to see what happens. So the young boy planted the bean under the window in the small garden, but he was so anxious to see what would become of the bean that he couldn't even eat his supper. He awoke the following day to discover that the bean had grown overnight. He looked out of the window, but he couldn't even see the top of the giant beanstalk. He thought he'd take a better look, so he walked out of the house and stared up at the sky. However hard he looked, he still couldn't see the top of the beanstalk, so the boy said to his mother, Well, mother, now you can see how much that bean was worth. I'm going to climb to the top to see how high it is. He climbed and climbed until the great height made him feel dizzy in the head. There was a hole in the clouds and the young boy peeped through and saw a spectacular house. He thought, I'm tired after climbing so I can stay here for the night and climb back down the beanstalk in the morning. He walked into the house and saw an old woman. The woman asked the boy, What are you doing here, my child? My husband is a dragon. He has three heads. If he sees you, he'll eat you up. The boy begged the woman to hide him because he was terribly afraid of the dragon. The woman asked him, Are you hungry, my child? Oh yes, I'm very hungry indeed. The woman immediately gave the boy some supper and he thanked her for her kindness. Come now, hide away at once as my husband is coming home. She brought a large bowl into the room and hid it underneath the bed. The little boy was very tired, but he was far too afraid to sleep. When the clock struck twelve, he heard a terrible rumbling and grumbling sound. The fierce dragon walked into the house carrying a black hen under his arm. He put it on the table and said, Lay an egg. And the black hen laid a golden egg. Then the dragon said again, lay another, and the hen laid as many golden eggs as the dragon wanted. But the fearsome dragon was very hungry. Why, fetch my supper. And his wife brought the dragon a meal. The dragon ate all his supper up. When he'd eaten his supper, the dragon told his wife to fetch his hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> Wife, is that a stranger I can smell in the house? Be calm, my dear. There is no stranger here. But there is. Bring him here or I'll tear you to pieces too. But the wife continued to calm her monstrous husband. The dragon played music until he fell asleep. He slept so peacefully that he didn't even snore. The wife thought it best to go to bed too, because it was almost dawn. 
And when the boy saw that the dragon and his wife were fast asleep, he crept out from underneath the bowl and grabbed the black hen. He took the dragon's hurdy-gurdy and just before he disappeared back through the hole, he took a look back and saw that the dragon was running after him. So the young boy climbed quickly back down the giant beanstalk and grabbed a sharp axe. And he chopped the giant beanstalk down. The dragon fell to the ground and broke all his bones. Nobody had to be afraid of him anymore. Then he went to his mother, who was frightened by all the fighting. Don't be afraid, mother. We shall both have food from now on. How so, son? Then the son placed the hen on the table and stroked it, saying, lay an egg. And the black hen laid a glorious golden egg, and it kept laying golden eggs until the mother and son were both rich. And the boy played beautiful music all day long to his mother's delight. And if you don't believe my story, you can go and see for yourself. <laughs>